What's going on YouTube? Ultimate iDevice Vids here, and iOS 5 has finally been released to the public. There's been a lot of betas, and the Gold Master Edition was released, uh, I think it was last week. But now it's available to the public. You can just update in iTunes, uh, very easy. So, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak it in this video. Uh, before I get started, uh, I just want to say really quickly, this is a tether jailbreak. So every time you reboot your device, you're going to need a computer uh, to turn it back on successfully and uh, get past the Apple logo, because it will be stuck on that if you reboot. But, uh, that's only for a little while, because the dev team have said, well, they've ha they have said that they um, will release an untethered jailbreak very soon for all devices, so that's including the iPad 2, which is really nice. So I'm going to be doing this video on my iPod Touch 4th generation. Uh, it is freshly restored to uh, 5.0. As you can see, I don't have Cydia. And I'll show you that by going into settings, then you go to general, about, and you can see 5.0 right there. And I'm not jailbroken, I don't have Cydia right now. Alright, so ready to go. Uh, you're going to need to download Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 4. I'll have the link for it in the description. Just click the link and download it. So uh, once you have it downloaded, open up the uh, Red Snow folder. Then the last option is just Red Snow. Now, if you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you need to right click on Red Snow. Go down to Properties down here. Go to the Compatibility tab up here. And make sure that box is checked. I already have it checked off, but make sure that box is checked. Run this program with compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. So uh, make sure you check that box off to avoid any crashes. Apply, and then OK. Once you've done that, that's just for Windows Vista and Windows 7. If you're on XP or Mac, you can just open it up. Run the file. Yes. And then just close out of everything else. And automatically, you're just going to hit jailbreak and install Cydia. So it's going to ask you to set your device into DFU mode. It'll give you easy instructions. So I'll put the camera down for this part. And it's going to ask you to switch your device off. It, it does not need to be off, but um, it does recommend it. So I'll show you guys that it does work on and off. I've not switched it off in the previous videos. It doesn't really matter. So wait for it to completely turn off. Alright, so once it's completely off, go ahead and hit next. It'll give you nice easy instructions. So it's the power button on top for 3 seconds, then power button and home button for 10 seconds, and then release the power button and keep your thumb on the home button until Red Snow recognizes your device in DFU mode. You can see it counts you down. There you go. You can let go of the home button now. All right, so then you go to the check boxes. Obviously, you got to install Cydia. And then uh, enable battery percentages already checked if you have an iPod Touch. And then um, and, um, after you've uh, checked off whatever you want to check off here, you can click Next. And then just let it jailbreak. Alright, so we're done. Now we just wait for our device to run all this code.
when it says movie applications, like it does now, it may take a little while, it should only take about two minutes, but just sit tight and wait for it to do its thing. I'm not going to cut any of this out, I'm just going to let you see it in real time to see how long it takes. There you go, installing bundles. This should be pretty quick, as you can see. So now we just need to wait for our device to reboot. And then we're going to have to uh, just boot tethered, because it is a tethered jailbreak. And every time you reboot, you're going to need to do uh, this part that I'm about to show you after it reboots. So once your device is back on, sc scroll over and you will see Cydia, but it is white and it will just crash because it is a tethered jailbreak. So um, what you're going to need to do, obviously you're going to need to save Red Snow because uh, w whenever you reboot your device, it's going to be stuck on the Apple logo and you're not going to be able to use it. So um, just click extras, everything else, and then there's a button that says just boot. Click that and then it's going to ask you to set your device into DFU mode again. So I'll put the camera down again, and then power your device off again. Once it's off, click next and it will give you these instructions. So it's power button for 3 seconds on the top, power button and home button combined for 10 seconds. Then release the power button and keep your thumb on the home button until Red Snow recognizes your device in DFU mode. There you go. You can release the home button now. Alright, so now you're done. So now you're, you're going to see a pineapple logo on your device. Uh, just wait for it to uh, boot up. So now you can just close out of Red Snow. Definitely save it because you're going to need it uh, every time you reboot.
Once your device boots up, there you go. City will have its color again, and you should be set to go. So there you go, it doesn't crash. And there you go, select your user option. And there you go, you're jailbroken on 5.0 firmware. Alright, so there will be an um, untethered jailbreak very soon, so just sit tight if you're waiting for that. And um, uh, I did enable battery percentage, I'll show you how to use that. You open up settings, general, usage, then battery percentage. Just switch it on, and there you go, you got battery percentage as well. So there you go, uh, 5.0 firmware, jailbroken. Okay, guys. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll I'll have you covered with the untethered jailbreak whenever it comes out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.